Hello and welcome, I'm Ben from DigiTechnical Support. In this video I'm going to show you how to install an Anywhere USB device and set up Anywhere USB Manager in standalone mode on a Windows PC that is connected to a different network than the Anywhere USB device is on. The first task is to make sure that the Anywhere USB is physically connected. You can see here I have an Anywhere USB 2. There's the Ethernet interface, a couple of USB interfaces and the power connector. The thing I'd like to bring your attention to here is that the power connector is a twist and lock barrel connector. You can see that there is a slight gap at the top showing some silver. This is not in the locked position. You have to twist until the barrel connector drops into position, pushing down at the same time, and then lock it by twisting it in a clockwise direction. And then from there, the connector is nice and solid. It's not going to come out. The Ethernet interface has a default IP address of 192.168.210.1/24. It also runs a DHCP client. So when you connect the Anywhere USB device to your local network, as long as there's a DHCP server, it will obtain an IP address automatically. You can then have a look at the IP address allocations on your DHCP server to see which IP address was assigned. I had a look at my DHCP server and it was assigned 192.168.0.184. So I'll just refresh this screen and I'm prompted with the login page. The username is admin. The password is on the underside of the Anywhere USB device on the label. For reference, this is an Anywhere USB 2 and the firmware version is 24.3.28.87. This is the same process though on any of the other Anywhere USB devices. I'm going to add some configuration onto this Anywhere USB device. I'm going to go to System, Anywhere USB Configuration. In the previous video, we set up a local client ID, and this was a PC that was on the same network as the Anywhere USB device. So let's just quickly have a look at those settings. We can see at the top that the service is enabled and is listening on TCP port 18574. In the group settings, port assignments, port one and port two, these are the USB ports on the Anywhere USB device. They're both assigned to group one. There's a client ID there called local, and you can see we added a descriptive name of Windows 11 PC and gave it access to group one devices. We're now going to add another client. So I click on add client and give it a name. This time I'm going to call it remote. I'll give it a descriptive name, which is Windows 11 VM. It's going to be a virtual machine. And I'll also give it access to the group one devices. I click on add. OK, and then you can see there is the local and remote. And again, there's new client. So we'll just go ahead and remove that. And we end up with the two clients, local and remote. The next task is to download, install and configure Anywhere USB Manager on the PC that's going to be connecting into this Anywhere USB device. To do this, I'll bring up the virtual machine, open a web browser and go to digi.com. Click on support and select your product. From here, start typing in the product name, select the device, which is the Anywhere USB 2 Plus. Scroll down and click on the Anywhere USB Manager. That would download the software. I've already downloaded the software, so I'm going to start installing it. Click on Next, and I'm going to run this in standalone mode. If you would like Anywhere USB to run every time you log on to the PC, make sure this box is checked. As this is a demo, I'm going to remove this option and then click on Finish. Every client that connects into the Anywhere USB device needs to have its own unique client ID. In the previous step, we set up the ID remote for this PC. So I'll enter that and click on OK. Anywhere USB Manager will try and find devices on the local network. Because this PC is on a different network to the Anywhere USB device, it's not going to be able to find it. So we have to add this in manually. Click on Configure, Known Hubs. Click on Add and add in the hub IP address. We know this is 192.168.0.184. Click on OK and close. You can now see that Anywhere USB Manager has managed to find the Anywhere USB device and connect to it. 
if we expand on the plus, we'll see group one, and then the plus again, we can see that uh, USB webcam connected and also the flash drive. To connect to these devices, we need to right click and choose connect to group. I'll come down to the Explorer window, scroll down and into the USB drive and we can see there there is a few music files as the file listing. If we go into the camera app, huh, that's me again, hello. <laughs> We can see that the USB camera is now working and that's connected to the Anywhere USB device. To allow another user to connect to these devices, first of all you have to disconnect this PC. To do that, right click on the group and choose Disconnect from Group. And that brings us to the end of this demo. I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching. For more information on this or any other Digi product, please see the support pages at digi.com forward slash support.